if you're concerned about the wild expansion of government powers that have occurred over the last 50 or so years, and if you want to push that tide back, you're going to need a lot of people on your side who also agree that government is way too big, needs to be reined in, needs to be pushed back, needs to be put back down into a tinier box. And to push back the tsunami of expanding state power, you need a lot of linked arms. You need a lot of teamwork. You need a lot of voting power. And you need consistency in a commitment to the Freedom Club and a recognition that the government is way too big, is way too powerful, and a government that has more per capita population in prisons than China does, which is kind of a communist totalitarian dictatorship-ish kind of place. And I wanted to speak to you just soul to soul, so to speak, to hopefully get you out of this mad delusion and self-abuse called voting. And the reason is that you don't want to vote. I'm going to tell you, you don't want to vote because of the facts. The facts are that voting uh, means nothing. It's worse than meaning nothing. It encourages participation in a coercive and destructive system. It gives sanction to evil. And people have been voting for a smaller government for decades. So you don't vote because you think that voting will set you free or restrain government in any kind of way, because you're not an idiot. I mean, I'm going to speak to you as an intelligent, aware, brilliant human being, which is, if you weren't, you wouldn't be watching this. And so I'm not going to give you facts, because facts would be insulting to you. Facts would be um, to indicate that you were unable to process the basic reality of the world that you live in and the historical evidence of the futility of trying to restrain an agency of violence like the state by uh, begging for crumbs from the table uh, or, or favors. And you know that voting is a pitiful plea. It is a beg. Please, master, give me back a little bit of what you have stolen. And I'm not going to insult you by pretending that that is an argument that is anything other than an emotional panic and a fear of increased predation and a begging for favors. The reality of the state is that they'll take whatever they want from you because they have the guns and the jails and the military. And that they will attempt to bribe you to get you to participate and give them moral sanction for their theft by getting you to participate in a system that allows you to choose this, that and the other. Of course. You can only choose your master. You can't choose not to be a slave, which of course is why the whole thing is so patently ridiculous. You need to link arms with like-minded people and commit to really pushing back the size and power of the state in a peaceful, democratic, electoral fashion. That's the reality, and that's what people who want small government are facing, libertarians and republicans, and even, to be fair, those on the left, those democrats who wish for more social freedoms, even though they're not so keen on economic freedoms.